If you've been wondering about get okay. If you've been wondering about getting into the game dev industry, then this video is for you. Today, I want to talk about the experience that I had at GDC last week. Not just on the technical stuff. There was a lot of really cool tech that I'm sure I'll talk about later this week. Subscribe if you're interested in that. But I want to talk about the people that I met and the biggest thing that well, the biggest thing that we really talked about, which was their process in getting into the game development industry. I noticed that a lot of people had very kind of loosely different, but somewhat similar stories. A lot of people came from various different backgrounds. I met people who were fresh out of high school, fresh out of college, just getting into the industry, or people who had been working in the industry for 40 plus years or started on totally different things like industrial IT stuff. Some started as teachers, some started as archaeologists, all kinds of very, very, very cool different stuff that people kind of had as their previous job or their kind of initial background, but they wanted to get into game development. And this is probably the case for you. I know it was for me when I started off as a game developer, I'd already had some experience doing business software development. I never really... Well, I kind of thought that maybe being a game developer was what I wanted to do as a kid the whole time, but I had no idea how to go about that process, probably like a lot of other people. Now, I've told the story of how I got into the industry quite a few times, but as a real quick recap, basically, I applied for a bunch of game dev jobs, didn't get any of them, and then randomly got a message from a friend I used to play games with asking if I wanted to go work for him. And this is what I found happens a lot of the time. It's not just me. I'm not an odd one who got a job offer from a friend or from a contact. This seems to be a very, very common way to get jobs. In fact, it's probably the most common way to get into the industry. But that also isn't really the core thing that I wanted to talk about today. The biggest thing that I thought or the biggest thing that kind of came from going to the conference and talking to people for me around this topic was that most of the people that I talked to that got into the industry relatively recently had mentioned that they basically learned how to code, learned how to make games from watching YouTube videos. Of course, they were only watching my videos oh, and Code Monkeys and a whole bunch of other people's. I'll, I'll link them all down below. I'm just kidding. Uh, but they learned how to code essentially online in their spare time while they were working on their own jobs. And then they came to the point where they needed to decide whether or not to actually get a job. And this was probably the most exciting part for me because quite a few people mentioned that in the past videos, the ones where I've told people that if you're kind of questioning whether or not you should get into the industry. If you're thinking like, hey, I'd like to do this. I'm not sure if I'm ready yet. The answer is almost always, you should go do it right now. Just stop what you're doing. Stop thinking about it anymore. Stop, get rid of all those kind of blocks in your head, those things saying like, hey, what if this doesn't work? Maybe this isn't an opportunity. Maybe I can't make enough money. Maybe I should do something else. Any of those things, just ditch them all get out there and actually just start trying. It's really important that you actually just start building games and applying for the jobs. Don't just start building games and try to build up some giant mega massive portfolio before you apply for positions. Just start building some stuff, maybe share a little bit of what you're doing if you can, you know, if you can do a YouTube channel or make some posts on Twitter or on Reddit or whatever else about what you're doing. Um, that's very, very, very helpful. Just do a little bit, share that and start applying. Get yourself out there in front of people, find out why you don't don't get specific jobs when you apply for jobs. You're obvious, well, unless you're magical, you're probably not going to get the first one or all of the jobs that you apply for. So for every time you get a job interview that you don't get the job, make sure that you reach out to them and ask them kind of where you need to improve, what things you're missing, what would have made it so that you were more likely to get that position so that you can work on those things. And, and just make sure that when you're communicating those things with the past interviewees or interviewers, that you're letting them know that that's why you're curious because you want to get better and you want to kind of improve your skills so that next time you apply for a position, you're, you're more prepared and you're a better candidate. So I would ask them all the time. But barring that, forget about that, forget about the rejection. Just go out there, 
put your stuff out in front of people and start applying for the jobs. You never know what it is you're going to find. You may end up running some game company in the next couple of years or building and releasing the coolest thing that anybody's seen or who knows, revolutionizing game development as a whole. I have no idea what you'll end up doing, but I know that if you don't actually try, you don't actually get out there and put yourself in front of people, it'll end up not doing any of the cool things that you might have in mind. So that's all I really wanted to say with this video is get out there, start applying for things. Don't let the fear of rejection or the fear of not having a job that you already don't have stop you. You already don't have that job. Just go out there and see if maybe you can get it. All right. I hope that this is helpful. I hope that people go apply and all that stuff. And also, if you're interested in game development, I forgot to mention this earlier on in the video. Game Dev Guild is coming up May 1st through the 5th. I'll put a link down there. It's an online game developer conference, primarily for Unity developers, full of actionable info and really good networking opportunities. It's down below so you can check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, again, don't forget that. Like, subscribe. Bye.